poker and my colleague. The only thing that I can say is that those of us who were at Limuru 3, the issues that were raised there are the issues all Kenyans are talking about. So what I can say only to my colleague members of parliament and to our leader uh, is that it is down to us to fight even for the interests of those people in Mount Kenya where unfortunately the leaders there have decided to go quiet. So to me, uh, being here is just to request that we work as a team and we cont continue following the footsteps of Baba. Thank you very much. On opinion and judging from uh, the reactions that we got from uh, the country, a very successful Limuru 3 conference. And I do not want to dwell on the issues that uh, we resolved because those issues are very well contained, uh, documented in the resolutions that will be handed over to you by the Honorable Secretary General. But Baba, there is one very urgent uh, issue which I believe you should help us to solve right now. I know you are busy campaigning for the AU seat, but I also believe that you are a person gifted with multitasking. We have an urgent issue that needs to be addressed. There is the health issue. If you read today's paper, or even yesterday's paper, you realize how this lady, I don't know, she's Nakumicha? How she has mitchered the health system in this country. Is there a word like that? <laughs> in addition to doctors, there are no equipment in our hospitals. There is no medicine. I want to see Kama Watu Mountain Tuko Tayari. ODM. Najua wengine wa jubilee lakini leo mko nyumbani. Kwa hivyo ninataka nisikie nzuri. ODM. Asante. You are welcome. Uh, you know I'm surprised that in the mountain na nyinyi mnalia. Mnalia? I thought you were in government. I thought you were part of the shareholders. <laughs> I was with Mweshmiwa Kioni in Parliament. I'm happy to see the other two gentlemen who came after us. How uh, I wish that we can be able, this is a forum, we can have a discussion, candid discussion. We see how we can help our country. And how I wish that in the future, again, as the people of the mountain, you may decide, even me as Simbarat, I can be the president from Nyanza. Ama kuna wengine, si watu wamekomwa? Lakini mamba mbao mmeongea yote, the effect is heavily felt across the country. Mimi nasema kwamba tuombe hii serikali ya Kenya kwanza. Iendele vili naendelea. Tunawambia mungu. Tafadhali, tuombe. Mungu waoneke na mna hii na andiyo tutaiza wakua Kenya yetu. Kwa hivyo, I wish you guys well. Sisi katika ODM. Tutatembea, mimi na ukaribisha ndugu yangu kioni. Leta ni angalia yu ripoti. And I'm just, uh, you know, I've checked. You guys, you had Rimuru 1, Rimuru 2. I'm thinking I'll be having Kisi 1. <laughs> so that you can convey this document. Nini kama our, especially the Kikuyus, the Meru, Meru, Embu. You know, those are our people. Yes. Yeah? Na, naomba, naomba tushikane mzuri tuone kama we can be able to build and this thing of the devolution how I wish it worked we would not be having this problem if money was falling functions indeed, even this thing of one man, one vote, one what shilling, it could have been sorted out but as long as the national government is holding into the money we'll have this song Kwa hivyo mimi nataka ni waombe nyote tushirikiane tuombe hii serikali Mungu aijalie iendelee vile inaendelea. Asante ni Mungu awabariki. Asante sana makofi kwa mheshimiwa Simba Rati. Uh, hamjambo wote. I want uh, to take this opportunity to thank the Mount Kenya community for seeing ahead and coming up with this document that will be handed over to Mzee. 
I think this is a very, very important move that you have seen issues that affect your community and as you have said it doesn't only affect your community but it uh, affects all Kenyans at large. You call it Lumuru 3. In my own community there is someone who is talking about Buhungu 3. <laughs> but the purpose of Buhungu 3 is different from the purpose of Lumuru 3. Because the purpose of Buhungu 3 is to sell the community to Kenya Kwans. And you can see members of parliament from our community who are here. Wanjala is here, Osos is here, Elis Mohanda is here, Katharina Omanyo is here. They have said no to Buhungu. To Buhungu? Numefanya? Tawe. Tumekata. Now, I happen, um, I was in charge of um, census in 2009. A region within our country inflated their figures. And you know, you know the place, isn't it? They inflated their figures and the then president, Mike Kibaki, said it must be repeated because we cannot give money to people who don't deserve that money. So when we, w we went to the cabinet, the cabinet allocated 500 million shillings to repeat the exercise. They went to court, 13 cases. I will be called in Mombasa, the following uh, week I'm in Carissa, the other week I'm in Kitale, until I left parliament. The issue had not been resolved up to now. And they continued to enjoy money wrongly. When I was in uh, Western on, on Sunday, I happened to have gone to West FM. And I talked about one man, one vote, one shilling. And someone <laughs> rang and said, what does that mean? So I tried to explain that money go where there are people. Is where money goes. If you claim that you have a larger landmass, we have equalization fund to help you. They have inflated the figure, they enjoy the money, and they also enjoy equalization fund at the same time. I can tell you, in those regions, school uh, school going children get a bursary 100%. School fees, if school pay, they go abroad, the full school field is fully paid abroad, they graduate there, they get masters, they get PhD, and they don't even come back to help Kenyans here. That is the situation we are in. So this issue of one man, one vote, one shilling, which was in the BBI, we should really fight for it, all of us. Otherwise, thank you very much for coming in the headquarters here, Chungwa House. This is where we are. But I know I'm looking at some of you. Some of you might have voted for Kenya Kwanza last time. But they are now, they are now regretting. Okay, now let me take this opportunity. Okaribisha Baba.